So up on the roof again uh, with another roof review. Uh, it looks like it's gonna rain heavily. So always get excited when a package arrives, especially when it's from Crockett and Jones. So this jet just came in and let me just knife check is uh, Medford again. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the uh, Snowden boots. Uh, Snowden boots are kind of the heavy GT um, commando type boots that um, Crockett and Jones make. Um, they're the only waterproof ones that Crockett and Jones make. So here we have the usual green box. Right, let's open it up. So Oak Waxhide Commando Sol Snowden last 228. Nice uh, usual shoe bag. Nicely carefully wrapped. All right, so here we have the first one. So these are, um, they're made with, and they're the only, uh, hopefully I'll say it right, they're made with uh, Velschten construction. So Velschten is a, a Dutch word, which means, I believe it translates to field boot. And what that means is, uh, instead of the leather being tucked in when it's stitched, it kind of comes out and is stitched. So that is meant to increase the waterproofness of the boot. So the leather, as it mentioned, it's a dark oak wax hide. It feels really, really nice, nice and soft. Uh, I do actually have a, I believe they put shoe trees in here. If I can pull that out. So the description that um, Crock and Jones say, uh, Snowden, a plain front derby boot made using water resistant Velschen construction, featuring waterproof wax hide uppers, bellow tongues, and heavy duty commando rubber soles. A specialized boot is available from men's collection. And the price is uh, 550 pounds. So it is one of their very popular boots. Um, so looking at the sole, um, you can see the commando sole. It's interesting. I didn't notice that on the uh, on the website. You can see the actual uh, nails in the sole there. It does say Commando Sole. In terms of its weight, I mean, clearly it is very heavy duty. I mean, as they say on the Crock and Jones website, made to be worn. So coming round to the back, we've got a little uh, little book explains the Velschen construction actually. Velschen guaranteed waterproof. Gives you a bit of information about drying, cleaning, and manufacturing process. So that's interesting. 
Um, in terms of the back, you've got this little, um, yeah, it's fun function where you can get your finger in there, so that'll help with putting the boots on. A little scratch there, but I suppose it's gonna get scratched like that as soon as I take it out. The heel's quite high on it as well, um, higher than some of their other boots. So last 228, if you go to their website, they also say, um, this is the same last that was featured for the Radnor, um, which was in the James Bond movie. So it's basically the same boot, uh, but it's a different color. And the Radnor that Daniel Craig wore in Spectre didn't have the Velschen uh, construction. So they don't make the Radnor anymore, but this is basically the same, uh, apart from the color. You can actually request the Radnor um, yeah, they can make one-offs. Um, they charge quite a, a couple of hundred pounds. I think 750 was the quote they gave me. Um, so if you wanted the actual one that appeared in Spectre in the same color, then it would cost you 750. And I believe it takes about six weeks. So just looking inside, uh, it's got uh, the, you can see the below his tongue. So that again will help with water resistance it comes up kind of to ankle so let's see there's not really there's well there is no inner here so overall yeah it's a great boot great looking boot uh, can't wait to take them out and wear them just take the other one out Check out the other one. It does have little scuffs here as well. Overall, very nice. And then the shoe trees. Um, always recommend getting shoe tree uh, if you want to increase the, you know, the life of your shoes, help them keep shape and everything. It's very nice. Little logo here. So overall, very pleased with those. I'll put them on now. And uh, thanks for watching.